So take a moment to look at everyone around the classroom. What do you notice that is different about everyone? Do we have different eye color, skin color? What about our personalities? We all have our internal and external differences, but what really makes us special or unique? Well, Mary, Mariana Atencio talks about her own immigrant experience and the lessons she has learned along the way using rhetorical devices, ethos, pathos, and logos. I believe this speech is eye-opening and can endure for a long time. What, where and when? So this speech was presented on March 17, 2017 in, at the University of Nevada in Reno. Uh, it was about 9.18 in the morning, and there's around 21,000 college students there, so it didn't give me an exact number of people, but she definitely had a crowd to impress, for sure. Things going on in 2017, um, the solar eclipse happened, which was historical. Donald Trump was sworn in as the 45th president of the United States, and North Korea tensions with America due to Donald Trump's inauguration. Background. Mariana was born April 2nd, 1984, to Alvaro and Diana Atencio in Caracas, Venezuela. She attended a Catholic college in Venezuela and earned a bachelor's degree. She soon was awarded a scholarship at Columbia University Graduate School of Journalism and graduated. And in 2020, she became a US citizen and is now an American television host, has a successful journalism career, and has a couple shows on HBO. significance then and now. Uh, making friends and growing up and seeing who you are becoming as a person is a struggle in itself. Your goal is to not seem like a different person. Mariana traveled the world and was introduced to new people um, from different cultures other than hers and gave her insight on really respecting others and their ways of life. She tells us to never let our differences define us, but at the same time, belonging takes work and effort. You see on TV. And you know what I've learned? The single thing every one of us has in common is being human. So take a stand to defend your race, the human race. Let's appeal to it. Let's be humanists before and after everything else. To end, I want you to take that sticker, that piece of paper where you wrote down what makes you different, and I want you to celebrate it today and every day. Shout it from the rooftops. I also encourage you to be curious and ask, what is on other people's pieces of paper? What makes them different? Let's celebrate those imperfections that make us special. I hope that it teaches you that nobody has a claim on the word normal. We are all different. We are all quirky and unique. And that is what makes us wonderfully human. Thank you so much. You see, we all come to... Rhetorical devices, um, a hypophora. So how do we put ourselves in Angelina's shoes? How do you make her understand that she is special and not simply unworthy of having her family together by giving camera time to her and her families like hers? I try to make people see them as human beings and not simply illegal aliens. And there's extra that I put on there. But she talks about a girl who was afraid of getting her parents deported. And she says this girl is considered the odd one at the time. Um, she is in fear every day of her mom being taken away from her. Similarly, Mariana, and to, or excuse me, my dance class stood out from like the 10th violin opera that day. So at her school, she participated in a talent show. She danced her favorite emerging artist, Shakira. She was belly dancing. Um, she definitely stood out from others because everyone was just doing like piano lessons or violin, just anything basic like that. In that moment, she came to the conclusion that she didn't feel different, she felt special. Illusion. We could either be like them or like characters out of a book filled with adventures like Aladdin or The Jungle Book. We certainly didn't look like them and we didn't speak their language. Mariana and her sister went to a summer camp in Brainerd, Minnesota. They were introduced as the others. She alludes to the stories because just because they come from a different country doesn't make them any different from the other regular, like, white people. Persuasion techniques. Um, she, she shows ethos and talks about Barack Obama's pres presidency expectations and Donald Trump's presidency changing um, the views on Americans. 
This shows that we are all aware of the tensions of when Obama, Trump, Obama and Trump were running against each other and people to this day still question what Marianne questions every single day, why was there so much tension between them? Logos, um, she talks about how the Venezuelan government shuts down one of her favorite television stations and immigrating to the US for better opportunities. She sh it shows that the country of Venezuela was not giving Mariana the chance to follow her dreams. And so in 2008, she moved to the US and achieved her dreams of becoming a journalist due to her father's persuasion of that. Pathos, expressing her culture through her favorite Latin singers, using body language to show her passion. This shows that Mariana is passionate about her culture and singers from the Latin community. Her body language and the way she shows, shows that she is passionate and confident. Why will it endure? People to this day are still not treated equally or respected. I hope in the future people will be equal and have the same respect. I hope that people will come back to this TED Talk and learn that we are all equal because we are all human, not because we have a different skin color, sexuality, religious preference, etc. Mariana Tensio presented, was, has presented this speech using rhetorical devices, ethos, pathos, and logos. I hope the audience who is present present during the presentation had an eye-opening experience and others in the future, such as us, can look back and understand the con concept of what makes you special.